Hello and welcome to Football Daily and these are the top 10 players who produced the biggest moments in the biggest games. 10. Gareth Bale It's been a strange seven years for Gareth Bale, from going on a 23-game winless streak at Spurs in 2009 to winning a second Champions League title with Real Madrid in 2016. Bale's development as a footballer aligns with his athletic ability. Rapid. The Welshman started showing signs of truly world-class talent in 12-13, scoring 21 goals in 33 league games. And he started to gain a reputation on the big stage, as he netted five goals against Arsenal, Liverpool and Man United, establishing himself as much more than just the guy who scored a hat-trick at the San Siro. This form led Madrid to pick him up for a then world record fee of £85.4 million, and he scored decisive goals in the Champions League final in extra time, and perhaps most famously netted the winner in the Copa del Rey against Barcelona, leaving Mark Bartra in the dust on the 85th minute. 9. Ronaldo the original Ronaldo was arguably the greatest striker in the modern era. El Fenomeno had it all. Pace, strength, finishing, supreme dribbling ability and a plethora of skills. His step over exit onto his left was undefendable and overall he managed 352 goals in just 518 appearances. R9 was also a producer of big moments in big games, famously scoring a hat-trick for Real Madrid at Old Trafford. But perhaps his finest moment was in the 2002 World Cup final against Germany, where Ronaldo netted twice to redeem himself after 1998's no-show. Ronaldo's lacklustre performance in the 98 final shouldn't tarnish his name though, as the striker suffered a fit hours before the final but requested to play, with conspirators believing that Nike forced him to in order to promote his iconic boots. 8. Roy Keane Probably one of the angriest footballers ever to grace the pitch, Roy Keane looked like he wanted to kill someone playing against relegation fodder, let alone in a big match where the tensions are high. Keane vs Vieira overshadowed the classic battles between United and Arsenal, some feat considering the amount of quality on display for both sides. But his performances in United's victories over Arsenal were nothing compared to his immense performance against Juventus in 1999. It was a season to remember for United fans as they won the treble, but United's trip to the Stadio delle Alpi in the Champions League semi-final was pivotal, as the teams drew 1-1 in the first leg and were 2-0 down in the second. Kino headed them back into the game though, driving United to a 3-2 victory and eventually the Champions League trophy. The performance epitomised Keane as a player, his never-say-die attitude and strong leadership pushed United through and, of course, he was booked. Keane missed the final as a result. 7. Park Ji Sung Sir Alex Ferguson's secret weapon in big games, Park Ji Sung was a relentless midfielder who never gave opponents a time to breathe. His intense pressing allowed the likes of Ronaldo, Rooney and Tevez all to flourish in a dominant United side. Despite only scoring 27 goals for United in 205 games, nearly a third of his goals came against Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool, scoring both home and away against all three sides. Andrea Pirlo even mentioned Park in his autobiography, stating that the midfielder must have been the first nuclear-powered South Korean in history, in the sense that he rushed about the pitch at the speed of an electron. And when you give a player such as Pirlo a horrid time, you must have been an outstanding footballer. 6. Steven Gerrard Stevie G gave us so many memories, dominant performances, Andy Gray going ballistic and slipping over to hand the league to City. His 90th minute equaliser in the FA Cup final against West Ham from 30 yards out is still an iconic moment, but his best displays came in Liverpool's run to Champions League glory in 2005. The Red Men were nearly out before the knockout rounds had even begun, as they needed to beat Olympiacos by two goals in order to get out of the group. They looked doomed after Rivaldo scored, but Cinema Pongol and Mella gave Liverpool hope after 80 minutes. In the 85th, Mella was involved once again, laying off a lovely cushioned header for Gerrard as the captain smashed it in from 25 yards out, leaving the keeper with no chance. Anfield and Andy Gray went mental as Liverpool somehow scraped through, and Gerrard wasn't done there, later kick-starting Liverpool's comeback against Milan in the miracle of Istanbul. 5. 
Gerd Müller. There aren't many bigger occasions than a World Cup or European Championship final, and De Bommer had a say in both of them. Gerd Müller had an exceptional club career, winning four Bundesliga titles and three European Cups, all at Bayern Munich. But even with these honours and 564 goals in 605 games for Bayern, it was for West Germany where Gerd Müller earned worldwide acclaim. Firstly, in the Euro 1972 final, where he scored twice, and thanks to the winning goal in the 1974 World Cup against Cruyff, Total Football and the Netherlands. Gerd ticks all the requirements of a big game player, but with 68 goals in 62 games for his national side, maybe he was just a very good player in general. 4. Andres Iniesta the captain of Barcelona is now 32, yet is still a mainstay in the team and one of the most influential players in a side stacked with superstars. The playmaker has had such great performances on the big stage that he's been given a standing ovation by the fans of local rivals Espanyol, and even at the Bernabeu after 2015's El Clasico. Iniesta scored the winner in Spain's 2010 World Cup win and won Man of the Match awards in the Euros and Champions League finals. Astonishingly, he's also got an assist in the 2009, 2011 and 2015 CL Finals. Players like Iniesta don't come around often, and though he may not have the star power of Messi or Neymar, it's still an honour and a privilege to watch him play every week. 3. Neymar it's a testament to a player's nerve and ability to handle pressure when they appear on this list before the age of 25. But Neymar's already established himself as a big game player at the age of just 24. Neymar scored in the Copa do Brasil final at 18, the Copa Libertadores final at 19, netted in two Copa del Rey finals and in the Champions League final for Barcelona. And he scored the winning penalty for Brazil in the Olympics to get a gold medal. An unbelievable record for a player who hasn't even even hit his prime yet. The Brazilian has already had a career that many veterans of the game would be envious of, and with Neymar not afraid to take responsibility at a young age, there's sure to be many more big moments from Neymar Jr. 2. Zinedine Zidane Zizou would probably have been number one on this list if he didn't decide to nut Matarazzi in the World Cup final, but instead tried to win it. Zidane actually opened the scoring in the 2006 decider and jointly holds the record for most goals in World Cup finals with three. Zidane's two other goals in a final came against Brazil in 1998, and his talent was recognised on an individual level as he won the Ballon d'Or by a landslide in the same year, with Davos Schuker and Ronaldo coming in as a distant second and third. And his reputation was enhanced further when he scored quite possibly the most memorable goal in a Champions League final ever in 2002. Madrid were up against Bayer Leverkusen and in the 45th minute Roberto Carlos looped a ball over to the edge of the box. Zizou produced a moment of magic, volleying the ball into the top left corner with his weaker foot. An unbelievable goal from an unbelievable player. 1. Didier Drogba If there's ever a player who relishes the big games, it's Didier Drogba. The Ivorian was actually not the most prolific scorer, as he only netted more than 13 league goals in a season twice. But Drogba hit 10 goals in 10 finals and won 10 major trophies at club level. But he didn't save that form just for finals, as he constantly gave Gunas nightmares too, scoring 16 goals in 17 games against Arsenal in all competitions, as well as tearing poor Philippe Senderos to shreds. Not that it was all that hard. His finest moment though has to be in the 2012 Champions League final against Bayern, where he climbed above Lahm to head in an 88th minute equaliser, sending the game to extra time. But Drogba wasn't finished there and stroked home the winning penalty to earn Chelsea their first ever Champions League title. So those were our top 10 big game players, but who did we miss out? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out Monday's Winners and Losers, where we discuss whether Barcelona can win the treble again. And as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.